Hi, everyone. I'm really honored to be here with you today um, and delighted uh, to, to see this room full and uh, so eager to hear what we are saying. So this put a little bit of a pressure, but uh, it's very nice. So I'm here, um, so I, I will present uh, two things. One thing is really about uh, um, technology in education. Our Global Education Monitoring Report this year was about technology in education. And rather than starting about questioning what, education can, what a technology can do for education, he started asking what is the education system we want and what education for, can do uh, what technology can do to improve education. And so, as you know, uh, Sustainable Development uh, Goal 4 is the SDG 4 and is about uh, equitable, inclusive, quality education. So the three questions, the main question that the report asked this year in its first part was about is technology able to improve quality, equity, and even efficiency in education. And in fact, the short answer, and this is really a shortcut, is maybe it can. Um, technology offers a lifeline for millions. It helps to access education, it helps to access contents. Um, it can provide a most efficient way to deliver education and uh, access to learning. Uh, for example, if we think about the potential of distant education, if we think about what is about uh, lifelong learning analytics, and uh, it can increase also quality. But uh, the sure point is that technology is changing education, but is not yet transforming education. There is something that says that, for instance, if we look at open access resources, 90% and more of the content is provided in English. Other languages are not really looked at. Um, if we look about the potential of technology in education, many people think about the digital divide, but the digital divide is not just in terms of skills, it's also in terms of access to infrastructure. And if you think, for instance, at this particular issue, we know very well, looking at primary education, that about 20% of schools globally don't have access to electricity. And uh, if we think about sustainability, we realize that uh, technology has a huge potential, but also has consequences. And this is important then to look at and to ask four questions. This is how the JAM report this year has decided to look. Is the use, before deciding about the use of technology in education, each policymaker should address four questions. It is scalable, it is sustainable, it is appropriate for local and regional context, it is equitable, or it's just privileging the well-off uh, students. So that's why the title is a tool on whose terms. And this is why these questions are really important. And the, the idea, the main one of the main messages of the report is that uh, rather than thinking about technology as technology, we need to think about the learner's interest and put it at the center. And uh, the focus should be on learning outcomes, not to digital outputs. If you distribute laptops or devices, but you don't think about what will be the use of these devices, you will not improve learning. And the point is that also another one. So what the report does um, is uh, to look at uh, the, um, the status of education globally. In fact, it is the monitoring tool of SDG 4, the Sustainable Development Goal 4. And uh, the question it has asked this year has been uh, how far we are from achieving Sustainable Development Goal 4. 
And in fact, one important thing is about funding of education. And if you look at this chart, uh, we can see that A2 education, for instance, has increased very slowly since 2015. And uh, COVID had a huge toll also on this, uh, and aid from educa for education has decreased between 2020 and 2021, especially in those areas, in those regions where it's needed most, like in sub-Saharan Africa. And if we think about the digital transformation, we have estimated that a full digital transformation in education will cost one billion per day just to operate in the poorest country, which would prevent them to achieve sustainable development goals. And um, so, looking at the progress and to set the stage very quickly about the discussion that will take place today, we have seen that there has been progress, but uh, a lot remains to be done. And this, in all of the targets of the Sustainable Development Goal 4, about, as I said, equitable, inclusive education and lifelong learning. So early childhood, the percentage of children one year uh, younger than the official primary entry age who are in organized learning remain constant at 75%. And in particular, COVID has caused a, show, a really uh, huge decline in pre-primary participation in many countries. Learning, there has not been much progress, even in, pre -primary, in primary education. And completion, once you are in the system, where you are, once you are in education, I mean, the important is how, how do you get out? Are, is, are you successful, successful in uh, getting your education career? And uh, we can see that completion rate has increased, but uh, um, the progress is very slow. Um, okay. So, and as I was saying before, COVID has affected learning in many countries, uh, and even more than uh, in, in uh, the poorer countries. And also it has exacerbated inequality. And uh, another important point is that the number of out-of-school out of uh, children, youth and adolescents has increased with the new um, data that have been published last Monday have shown that six million more, more of children are out of school. And this has been really mainly determined by the crisis in Afghanistan, but there is also the COVID pandemic that has played a huge role. And I'm almost finished. Uh, and when we look at gender parity, this is really something that has not been achieved anywhere, and in particular in sub-Saharan Africa, this has not been achieved at any education level. So to answer the question, are we on track to achieve SDG 4 in 2030? The short answer is really no. If countries were on track, six million more children would be in early childhood education, 58 million more children, adolescents and youth would be in school, and 1.7 more um, primary school teachers would have been trained. So to get back on track, um, more than one million uh, children need to be enrolled in early childhood education every year. A new child needs to be enrolled in school every two seconds until 2030. And um, annual progress in primary completion rates need to almost triple. So progress has been made, but a lot remains to be made. And being on track is really important, not just for education, but for our society as a whole. Thanks a lot. <laughs>